let the interview begin. Flubber Nerds Podcast, and I'm here with Jason Rapp. Hi, Jason. Thanks for being here. Hello. So, first off, I wanted to ask how you got into puppetry. Well, the way I got into puppetry was uh, when I was about, uh, well, actually, probably when I was like five or six, I would do puppet shows for my friends. Uh, my mom ran a daycare. And, uh, and so she had puppets laying around. So, yeah. so that's when I really started, you know, playing around with performing. And then uh, when I was uh, uh, about 15 years old, I was in the Boy Scouts yeah. and I, um, I was doing a community project for my local library. And the local library um, didn't have a puppet theater for kids to play with. So I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool to do, uh, to build them a, a big uh, oh. uh, puppet stage nice. that the kids can use. Because yeah. I was getting involved with this other puppeteer that had, it was an old retired guy that was doing shows at the library and I'd helped him out with a couple shows. Okay. And then uh, when we gave away the uh, puppet theater to the library, yeah. the, uh, uh, there was an ad in the paper for it and a professional puppeteer she actually contacted me and was like, hey, oh. do you want to be my apprentice after she saw my show? Yeah. And so she introduced me to the Puppeteers of America, helped me write my first script and got oh. me my first gig at a Shakespeare oh. festival. And awesome. then uh, and then I started working with entertainers, started doing birthday parties. And then um, I moved to um, Oregon from California yeah. in about in the year 2000. And then I worked for Tears of Joy Puppet Theater, which was a touring puppet company in the northwest okay. and they uh they have you perform full-time um monday through friday at elementary schools all over the united oh, states nice and, and while i was doing that i was building up my own stuff on the side and then uh, uh launched dragon theater which is yep. my company oh cool and then i started doing uh libraries and schools and and birthday parties and then when i when i went to a showcase and presented my show the reluctant dragon yeah. And the theme for the libraries that year was dragons, dreams, and daring deeds. And they just happened. I just happened to bring my dragon show. And then yeah. I got a hundred bookings on that one, that wow. one uh, showcase. And then I was like, okay, well, libraries, I, I need to do more for that. And then, <laughs> uh, and so, so for the 15 years after that, I've been doing that. And then I started having costume princesses work for me and do their own shows. And oh. then uh, it's been and then it just kind of grew and then we started doing major fairs and festivals and events awesome. and then um and then later um i met uh, a guy about five years ago he uh he wanted to do a horror film with puppets called yeah. uh frank and Zed. and he started a company called puppet core so yeah. then i started doing uh, more adult themed uh puppet shows uh with puppet core nice. uh, really cool. awesome. so yeah so that's a little bit of my history that's really cool that's really awesome uh, so who were some of your inspirations growing up? Uh, my biggest inspiration was Dark Crystal. Um, oh, nice. When when I saw that movie, I always wanted to make a Dark Crystal movie or be a part of Dark Crystal yeah. or something like that. And it wasn't till halfway through shooting Frank and Zed, the, the monster horror film, that yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like shooting Dark Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was a way too ambitious project. We had no money. But we uh, we put on a pretty darn good show with uh, with like full sets and miniatures yeah. and blue screen and special effects and oh, wow. and uh, we launched that. Um, we're still looking for a distributor for that film, um, but that film uh, got rave reviews at a bunch of film festivals and wow. uh, and and we're and it took it was like five years in the making for that Jeez. that film. <laughs> but, yeah. Awesome! That's really cool. Um, so what's your dream um, goal like what's your goal with puppetry where do you want to see yourself well um, originally I, I wanted to have like my own like children's television series yeah uh, called Dragon Theater and and have like each episode be like a different genre of of, um, of medium so uh, like a lot of fairy tales but I also have like a black and white film noir style detective puppet show Oh, nice. um, I have an arcade game puppet show which uses 8-bit kind of art like this. Oh, and, wow. and the puppets are all 8-bit. And the puppet stage looks like an arcade cabinet. Um, wow. And then I have an underwater show that's performed in real water uh, called The Underwater Adventure. Yeah. And then um, I just like I just like playing with different genres and different themes, but oh, do it cool. in my style. Awesome. That's really cool. Um, so would you want to go into anything else of the puppetry, like animation, style, cartoon, voiceover work, that sort of thing? Oh yeah, 
yeah, I've done a little bit of voiceover stuff. Um, I've done some uh, commercials and a couple music videos oh, wow. with puppetry. Um, I really love the medium of film. Yeah. And uh, since the pandemic hit, I pretty much haven't been able to do any live shows anymore. Right. So I've, I have been focusing on doing video and filming my shows. And So would you want to go into anything cartoon related or voiceover work in the future? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got uh, tons of voices that I do. I've also um, had other puppeteers uh, that have worked for me that um, that do uh, major voiceover work for other companies. Oh, cool. And um, I really love it and would love to get more into that for sure. Awesome. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, so you got anything in the works at the moment? Um, yeah, right now I got a, a couple things in the works. Um, right now I have... Uh, my YouTube channel, um, I'm doing a complete overhaul on it. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm re, re-uploading like everything. And, okay. uh, and that's uh, YouTube Dragon Theater, um, yeah. D-R-A-G-O-N-T-H-E-A-T-E-R. And uh, I'm putting on about six of my shows onto that platform. Oh, nice. I've got three fairy tale shows and then two princess shows. Yeah. And then through Puppet Core, uh, we're working on a new short film. Uh, and, and that's kind of in the planning stages right now. Oh, but nice. we're going to put out some content through that. We're thinking might be about a Yeti oh, <laughs> and nice. a climber. Awesome. And, uh, and it'll, it'll be uh, some cheeky good fun. That's really cool. Nice. Um, so is there anyone you would like to collab with? For example, like the Henson Company or in, in, in a dream, in your, yeah, if you get me, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There's there's a a lot of artists I'd love to collaborate with for sure. Um, I'm a big fan of the Henson Company, obviously. Yeah. But I'm also a big fan of Amalgamated uh, Special Effects out of Hollywood. They do all oh. the the horror monster movie kind of special effects. Yes. And they work on like all the Alien and Predator films. Um, I'm I'm a big fan of them. Um, the Stan Winston Company is another uh, like special effects company. I, yeah. I'm I really like. It. But awesome. but yeah yeah I'd love to work with uh, either. Uh, some new starting artists uh, yeah. that are interested in something great or even or even some of the established companies out there. Awesome. Nice. Uh, so have you got any um, puppets you'd like to show off today? Yeah, I do. Um, right now, I'm actually uh, uh, rebuilding some of the puppets for my film noir style uh, puppet show. And this is a sculpt I did for uh, the villain oh. character. Nice. This is Busted Charms. Uh, this is his unmasked version, which I, I have the puppet show. I've been doing it for about 10 years now, but wow. he's never taken off his mask. So I'm going to have like an unmasked version of the character. He's a, he's a villain that likes to steal books. So oh, cool. <laughs> it, it thing with a library theme. And then the clueless detective, uh, he's, uh, the show's called the clueless detective and yeah. the detective, he, um, uh, he doesn't get any, anything and, and he's completely oblivious to everything happening. And the kids oh, trying, okay. to, uh, trying to get a hold of him but uh and then here's some of the other puppets i've been working on so so that was the clay sculpture and then once i get the clay sculpture done i do a casting nice um like so, so here's here's like a hand cast and neoprene which is like a hard plastic oh nice. and then i paint it like that and then once it's painted i do like a clear coat oh awesome and then and then i finish uh decorating puppets now these are these are just rod puppets, and most yeah. of the shows that I do are with rod puppets. But I do have some hand puppets. Here's a dragon puppet from my Reluctant Dragon show. Yeah. And I'll send you a link that you can share because I do yeah, have this show posted on. So here's the Reluctant Dragon. He's made out of rubber latex. Oh, nice. um, And he's from uh, the first show I ever wrote and produced was called The Reluctant Dragon. Yeah. And this is um, the, uh, the second version of the dragon puppet uh, that I've built. Um, but he. I have that show online right now. Uh, Hello, I'm the Reluctant Dragon. So here's here's the Reluctant Dragon, and then here's the host of Dragon Theater. Uh, this is Arthur D. Dragon. Uh, this guy's another hand puppet as well. Okay. Uh, he's made out of latex, and you know, typical Henson style um, yeah. with hand and rock. <clears throat> Hello, I am Arthur. D Dragon, and welcome to Dragon Theater. Awesome, it's really cool. So huh? That's just a, a taste of some of the puppets that I've that I've been making and that I've had for years. Nice, really, that's really cool. A nice, good selection. Awesome. 
Um, so, a last question. So, what is the f- what other projects have you got planned for the future that you'd like to get out there in any type of media form? Um, well, I'm I'm working on obviously the um, uh, like a television series. So yeah, I'm, like, yeah. I'm gonna put together a pitch for that. And then I'm also a really big board game collector, and um, okay. I have some board games that I'm actually uh, designing. And oh. there's one that's based off of um, superheroes called yeah. the Homegrown Heroes, and it, uh, it's a silly, wacky superhero kind of board game. Yeah. And and later I actually produced uh, the Homegrown Heroes as a puppet show, so we have a mm-hmm. bunch of really crazy characters for that. So I'm I'm in really interested in doing game design as well as as the the um, the video productions. Oh, awesome. So that's kind of what I, I've been working on. Nice. That's really cool. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, I've asked everything I li- I'd like to ask. So thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're very welcome. Tell me more about your podcast. Um, well, it's starting in January. Um, I like to bring together a mixture of movie, TV, video game, puppetry, theater people and just talk to them and want to get known a bit more. That's the concept behind it. So, yeah. Nice. Nice. Where, where are you based out of? Uh, have you heard of Manchester, England? Have you heard of it? Okay. Yeah. I've always wanted to go to England. I've always yeah, wanted yeah. to visit. I've been to Germany and Austria, but I've never been to England. You should do. There's some very nice cities and towns there. So, yeah, you'd like it. I think you would. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just, I, just love, I just love that whole European culture and, and the fairy tales and, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I love going to, I went to like Prague. Uh, a couple of years back that was really nice uh-huh. if you've been there yeah so, yeah, yeah it's beautiful there. yeah well i appreciate you cool. coming on today yeah you're very welcome uh, uh send me a link and i'll uh, post it on my facebook yeah i will do um so have a good day and take care all right bye bye